Okay, honestly. Here I thought at this point you would have gotten the hint. You would have gotten the clear message that I want nothing to do with you, Kara. But apparently not. <coughs> you decide to do what anybody in the mafia would do, everything in your disgusting cult, your band of Delulus would do on a regular basis every time someone speaks out against your disgusting, worthless ideology. Attack them and bully them into fucking silence. This right here, what you did, proved you are nothing more than a mafia, a disgusting cult, and frankly, fucking authoritarian. Do you think this is gonna get me back? Do you honestly think this is gonna get me to talk to you ever again? Or allow you anywhere in my social medias? No. It's this disgusting shit that I despise and oppose. The fight that should be going on. But uh, and again, you being a cult member yourself, hate when people rightfully call it out. <clears throat> and on topic of the cult, something I should have made mention last time, and really brought the point home, was the whole Planet Fitness thing. <clears throat> I wasn't kidding when I said, if you are a man and you feel the need to be in the women's locker room, you have serious problems. But when I neglected to mention the fact that that opens the door to sexual harassment, sexual assault, and well, all manners of harassment against women who simply just want to be there for a workout. You know, change and all of that. They don't have, they shouldn't have to worry about a man in the women's locker room to begin with to be well just, uh, it's like we're telling women they're not allowed to have their own spaces now <clears throat> but that's not the overarching problem even though it is I was smart to screen cap this before anything else, before I removed the restream link, before I logged out of everything you have. I'm just flat out done. Let this sink in and actually get the message. I want nothing to do with you, dude. Especially since you called me a pedophile. Simply for opposing the cult. The alphabet mafia that you yourself said you're a part of. But you'll gladly ignore the pedophilia on your side? Take a look at these. <coughs> yes, these. <coughs> these are highly contested books. Gender queer, which Let's be real. The only thing queer means is odd or unusual, but I digress. Sexual explicit content. All boys aren't blue. Sexual explicit content. The fullest eyes. Oh, sexual abuse. EDI content. And oh, sexual explicit. Alpha mafia. Oh, sexually explicit. Sexual explicit. Alpha mafia. Drug use. Profanity. Sexual explicit. Are you seeing the pattern? Let's go to 2019. Sorry, 2020. George, I'm in mafia content. <laughs> Wait, conflicted with the religious viewpoint. Of course. Sexual explicit. Okay, you can't even argue the Alpha Mafia isn't sexual. Oh, right here. Danberg challenging the author's public statements. Uh, the fuck? Selective storytelling indictments. 
And we go down. Anti police. Oh! Sexual abuse. And this goes back to 2019, even. There's Alpha Mafia crap. And. Uh, Illustration store inappropriate. Alpha Mafia crap. Yeah! And this goes back to 2019. And that was directly from the Library Association. Or specifically, the American Library Association. All of the relevant links will be in the low bar, so go through it all with a fine tooth comb. But even NBC points this shit out. Certain parents have sworn school board meetings in Texas across the country in recent months with call for the removal of library books that deal with race, racism, sex, gender, and sexuality. Gender and sexuality. <coughs> Some parents take it a step further, filling in the paperwork, and formally challenge the appropriateness of library books and forcing school administrations to review them. <coughs> Which I highly doubt a lot of schools at the time did even that. But it gets even worse than that. Oh yeah! Grooming even takes part in schools themselves. Farm Psychus. One, two, three, eyes on me! Was the expression that third grade health teacher, Mrs. Car Carlos, always. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that correctly. <laughs> Used to bring the class and attention in front of the room. While the rhyme. I'm wins the most. When's the word for most memorable part of health class? I vividly recall another Miss Colisey expression. No one should touch your private parts, which is that much I agree with. No one should have touched you that way. But <coughs> this right here, the idea of teaching sex ed to younger students, typically associated with a certain level of controversy. However, this is largely due to the fact that most co most folks think sex heads pay picture of things like condom demonstration, memorizing different types of STIs, and that, whatever, bringing up mean girls for some reason. Teaching a kindergarten class how to properly roll a condom onto a banana would be ridiculous. That's because it is ridiculous! That's not what proponents of K-12 Comprehensive sexuality education are pushing for when they advocate for lessons starting in kindergarten. Oh! <laughs> but I'm the supposed pedophile. I'm the pedophile for opposing this nonsense. Make that make sense. And if you paid any attention to my Twitter feed like, at all, you would know I made countless arguments against pedophilia and even advocated pedophiles, pedophiles to be shot. Even sharing a couple memes saying bullets are pretty much the only cure for pedophilia. That should tell you something, but apparently not. Also, when you said, quote, dating a minor, Lily Graphics on Twitter is not a minor. And I promote her Twitter page not only on my kick, but on my Twitch channel as well. You can fully see my girlfriend. That is not a minor, dude. She is in her late 20s. But I digress. From Congress, even. And this is further going into the problem of grooming. And this is directly from the PDF file. 
not the censored rave saying pedophile, but the P but the actual PDF file. The fact that transgenderism has brought with that new euphemism, gender affirming care, which is a term I can't stand because it's making mutilation and sterilization sound a lot better than it actually is. Which means surgical or pharmacological interventions designed to make the body look and feel more like of the opposite sex. Quote, gender affirming care for children involves the use of puberty blockers, one of five powerful synthetic drugs that block the natural production of sex hormones. The Food and Drug Administration has approved these medications to treat prostate cancer. Intramericize, however that said, certain types of infertility and rare childhood disease caused by genetic mutation, but it has never been approved for gender dysphoria, the clinical term for the belief that one's body is in the wrong sex. Right there! Never been approved for Puberty block. Okay. Never been approved for puberty blockers. Never been approved for the mutilation of one's body, or quote unquote cross sex treatment, or quote unquote gender affirming care. One of those drugs was used to chemically castrate fucking sex offenders, fucking predators, and we're giving these to perfectly healthy children. Oh, but I'm a pedophile for pointing that, pointing that out, right? No, not even remotely close. <laughs> this is the kind of social poison you want to push on all of us. But it gets far worse than any of that. This is the most unacceptable, and I seriously mean unacceptable. This movie, right here. You can see most of it I blocked out for damn fucking good reason. This was on Netflix. You can fucking read, but. Those who aren't actually watching by using this as background noise, the movie is Cuties. And that movie did the very same thing that it tried to call out. The sexualization of minors. The fucking character is 11. How was the director of this movie not shot between the fucking eyes? And although the movie is no longer on Netflix, the damage is already done. You remove the movie too little, too late. This movie should never have been fucking made to begin with. It's a movie made by pedophiles for pedophiles. And this has caused way too much damage as it fucking is. Something else that's completely unacceptable as well. You see that? That's not how any kid should behave. But read this comment right here. <coughs> Netflix it was comfortable with this. Plenty of people will defend it. This is where our culture is at. <coughs> and plenty of people still defend the movie to this 
day. It's disgusting as all hell. Frankly, anyone who defends that movie deserves the worst kind of torture imaginable. I said it before and I'll say it again. <clears throat> if you don't call this shit out, I have to assume you're in favor of it. There's a good reason I say that. Because this kind of bullshit, this disgusting bullshit, this absolute filth is unacceptable, indefensible. If you watch even a second of this movie, you deserve, at best, to be put on the watch list. And even that is going light. This foul, degenerate shit needs to be expunged from society overall. Like, ENTIRELY! Anybody who supports this... <sighs> Let's just say... You deserve to have a bad time. <sighs> hopefully this has to be- Hopefully this is the last I even mention of you, Tara. You support this Awful garbage. There's no way. Absolutely no way. I will ever be in favor of this. You fucking know I'm never gonna be in favor of the mafia. You just want me to shut up when it comes to the cult so you can do whatever the fuck you want. So you can degradate our culture even fucking further. Fuck you, and may you rot in hell for all eternity, Tara. I said it before and I'll say it again. We are flat out done. Never will I associate with anyone who supports the cult.